I'm a sidearm caster, so I'm not really like up high. I'll try to. Laura Ducker is a fly fisher and employee at Tailwater's Fly Fishing Shop in Dallas, where she's worked for the last three and a half years. In that time, Ducker has noticed more women have taken the bait. For women, it's growing a little bit more, uh, I think. It's not just a male dominated sport. Today I have a lesson with a woman later on today. Um, I just did one a couple days ago with another woman. So uh, I try to encourage women. According to the annual report on fishing in America, women are the fastest growing demographic in fly fishing. Of the 800,000 new fly fishers the sport has added since 2013, nearly 40% are women, far outpacing the 30% of the previous decade. Oh, it's definitely growing. The demographic is growing a lot more. Ducker says the initial reason was the rise of social media, which then spawned a market for gear designed specifically for women. Items like shirts, shoes, and most importantly, waders. Uh, when I first started fishing, I borrowed my buddy's huge extra large waders, and I was just like going out there. But it's growing a little bit more. Uh, they've catered to women, and every year it's there's more and more clothing out there for them. In response to growing demand, Tailwaters now offers international women's only fly fishing trips. South America, Mexico, Belize, the Seychelles, uh, Russia, kind of everywhere. So who has the upper hand when learning to fly fish? Women are a lot easier to teach than men. Men like to muscle it, be powerful, and you know, it's not about being who has the strongest muscles. It's about the right form, and women definitely listen better. <laughs> or NTTV News. I'm Joshua Skinner.